نحمد ہو ون صلی علیہ رسول کریم اما بعد فاعوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان الزین امن و عامل صالحات انا لا نضیع اجر من احسن عملا الائک الحم جنات و عدن تجری من تحتهم الانہار و یحلون فیہا من اصاور من ذہب و یلبسون سیابا خضرا من سندس و استبرق متکین فیہا علی الارائک نعم الثواب و حسنت مرتفقا صدق اللہ العظیم It's a general rule in Quran that whenever there is a mention of the people of the hell then for a simultaneous contrast the people of jannah the people of paradise are also mentioned so in the fourth section of surah al-kahf we have already read about the people who will be in the hell inna atna lil zalimin naran ahata bihim suradiquha you know they will be surrounded by fire and the smoke of of hell wain yastaghisu yugasu bi ma'in kal muhl and if they will ask for some water they will be given some molten brass molten copper to drink which will be very hot yashfil wujuh it will roast their mouths and faces bas sharab wa saat murtafaqa it will be very bad thing to drink and a very bad place to rest now in contrast in the lazina amanu wa amilu salihat verily those who came to believe and who did good deeds inna la nuziyu ajra man ahsana amala we are not going to to waste the reward of those who have been good, doing good deeds ulaika lahum jannatu adnin for them will be the residential gardens of perpetuity of eternity tajri min tahtihim al anhar underneath them rivers, rivers will be flowing yahallawna fiha min asawira min zahabin they will be adorned therein with bracelets of gold wa yalbasuna siyaban khudran and they will be wearing dress which will be green colored min sundusim wa istabrak robes of silk and brocade muttaqina fiha ala al-araik and they will be sitting over there on raised couches name as sawab it will be a very good reward that will be given to them wa hasanat murtafaqa and it will be a very goodly place to rest now in the next session allah subhanahu wa taala is giving an example of two persons who were friends one was wealthy the other was poor but the wealthy one became haughty and the poor one was he was loyal to his lord allah subhanahu wa taala so there is a conversation between them wadrib lahu masal rajulain relate o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to them the story of two people an example of two persons jalna li ahadihi ma jannatain min adabin we had given to one of them two gardens of grapes wa hafafna huma bi nakhlin and we had surrounded those gardens of grapes with the palm trees date palm trees wa jalna baina huma zar'a in between the two gardens there was an agricultural farm also so all the things that he needed were there there were fruits there were grapes there were dates and there was the farm in which you know corn or etc etc or wheat whatsoever he needed he could he could cultivate kilta jannatain aata to kulaha wa lam taslim minhu shay'a both the gardens produced its fruit and never you know decreased it in any way wa fajjarna khilalahuma nahara and we had caused to gush forth between them a river a river was also flowing between the two wa kana lahu sabr and he had fruit now it has two meanings either the gardens were laden with fruit or you know fruit of a man is his progeny daughters sons so maybe as we shall see later on he had many sons wa dakhala jannatahu wa kana lahu samar fa qala li sahibihi now he said to his his friend his his man companion 
وہ ہوا یو اینڈ دے ور ہیونگ اے کنورسیشن امنگ دم انا اکثر و مل کا معلم و آز و نفرا آئی ہیو مور ویلتھ دین یو ہیو اینڈ آئی ہیو مور اسٹرینتھ اینڈ دی نمبر آف پیپل آئی ہیو ود می از مچ گریٹر دین یو ہیو وہ دخلا جن دین ہی اینٹرڈ ہز گارڈن وہ ہوا ظالم النف سے ہی اینڈ ہی واز ڈوئنگ رانگ ٹو ہم سیلف کالا ماز ان تبید حاض ہی آبادا ہی سیڈ آئی ڈونٹ تھنک دیٹ دس گارڈن کین پیرش ایور وباد ان سات قائمت ان دس سیم وے آئی ڈونٹ تھنک دیٹ دی اور اینڈ دی سا اینڈ قیامہ از گوئنگ ٹو کم ولا ہی رو دت تو الا ربی اینڈ سپوزڈلی اف آئی ایم ریٹرن ٹو مائی لارڈ لا جدن خیرم منہا منقلب آ I'll definitely find much better things over there when I go back to my Lord. Qala lahu sahibu. Now this is a sort of mentality of rich people. They think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us some, this thing in this world. It means we deserve it. So we shall get in the afterwards also, in the hereafter also. So here he was thinking. Primarily, either there is no hereafter, no resurrection. But if there is any resurrection, and if there is the life of hereafter, then I shall get more than what I am getting here. here. Now his companion said to him, and he was conversing with him, Are you denying your Lord who has created you out of the dust? Summa min nutfa. And then from a sp- sperm drop. Summa sawwa ka rajula. And then he made you a complete man. Lakinna huwa Allahu Rabbi. But as for me, I accept Allah as my Lord. Wala ushriko bi Rabbi ahada. And I'm not ready to associate anybody else with him. Wala ula is dakhulta jannata ka kulta maasha Allah. And why it was not the case that when you entered your garden and you were pleased to see the garden laden with fruit, you should have said, MashaAllah, this is actually because Allah decreed it to be so. This is because Allah wanted it to be so. It's by the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever I have. La quwwata illa billah. There is no power except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In tarane, If you are seeing me, ana akalla min ka malam wa balada, that I am less than you in my wealth as well as my sons. Fa asar abhi an yuti ani khairam min jannatik. It's just possible that my Lord gives me a garden better than yours. Wa yursila alayha husbanan, and He may send over your garden a thunderbolt from heaven. You. من السماء فتصبح سعيدا زلقا and then all this garden and all this agricultural form it will become a slippery plateau or you see how 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 or and it is also possible that this water of this river may go down into the earth falan tastati alahu talaba and then it becomes impossible for you to get the water out of the earth wa uhita bi samarihi Now, what this person said, it actually happened. He was someone from Aliya Allah. Allah loved him. And whatever he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually did the same for, with that person. And his gardens were destroyed. All the fruit was taken away from him. And now he remained there. rubbing his hands against each other on the wealth that he had invested. The garden has been finished. There came, you know, a thunderstorm, a thunderbolt, and everything was gone. He, has invest- he had invested a lot. يُقَلَّبُ كَفَّهِ عَلَى مَا أَنفَقَ فِيهَا وَهِيَ خَابِيَةٌ عَلَى عُرُوشِهَا And the garden was lying down on its supports. There are supports for the grape, you know. So now these supports are down. وَيَقُولْ And then he said, يَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أُشْرِكْ بِرَبِّي أَحَدَا Would that I had not associated anyone with my Lord. Now the question is, 
whom he had associated with the Lord. There is no mention here of any Lat, Manat, Uzza, Homal, no, no God. He believes in one God. Only what he says is that I don't think there is going to be any resurrection. I don't think. And if there is a resurrection, this God has given me this thing over here, he will give these things, better things to me in the hereafter also. And he was so confident of his garden. I don't think it can perish, it can be destroyed. What is it? This is the faith in material resources. Here matter and material resources have become God for him. He has all the faith and trust in the material resources. And this is the biggest shirk of today. What is the shirk? Very few people today in this world might be worshipping idols. Even Hindus, very few. Only the lower strata of the society going to temples and worshipping, you know, idols. The higher elite of Indian society also doesn't go to temples, doesn't worship these idols. The shirk is, number one, Human sovereignty, this is the biggest shirk. Sovereignty belongs to whom? If you claim sovereignty, you are making yourself equal to Allah. This is number one shirk. Then all the confidence, all trust in matter and material resources. While Iman says that you should have all trust in God, not in the matter, not in the material resources. So this was the shirk that he was committing, not the shirk of of worshipping other gods and goddesses. But then there had been no hosts who could have helped him Mindunillah besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wama kana muntasira and it was not possible for him to take revenge. From whom could he take the revenge? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destroyed his gardens. Hunalikal walayatulillahil haq. Here, all authority belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walaya, this is walaya. And another word is vilaya. Vilaya is from wali. When there is mutual brotherhood, mutual friendship, it is vilaya. But authority is from, walaya is from wali. Wali is the person who rules some place or some, some country, wali. And from wali is walaya. So, authority. Authority here belongs to Allah and Allah alone. Hunalik al walayatul illahil haq. Huwa khairun sawaban. He is the best in rewarding. Wa khairun uqba. And he is the best regarding the final results. 